when that's stopped draining out, we then put that back in. I've got to say, this is the first time I've ever done an oil change with a plastic plug before. And I can see what they're doing, because I've certainly had cars where muscle men or apes or something have done up the sump plug so tight. The um, one series auction BMW that I did a series on, you can see that the, the sump plug was absolutely mulched. I'll show you a picture of it when we get out. Okay, so then we just get the Allen key and do this up. Now, obviously, because of this ratchet and clicking, it's not going to vibrate undone, which is a good thing. And it's got an O-ring seal, so it's a great seal. But it's only wanting a low torque in doing it up. So, But by using an Allen key, you're only going to get a low torque. So that's what you want. You're not, you're not going to get a great big spanner on it. There we go. That's up nice and tight. That's not going to leak. That's really, really good. And you do want to make sure that you get the um, the right size Allen key because you don't want to mulch up that there, um, which is going to make it really, really hard to get out. But there you go, plastic sump plug back in, and that's nice and tight. So from there, we um, just put that cover back over again, flick it up like that. And then we turn this around and she's okay, locked in. So this has got the new oil filter in it, the new O-rings on it, and it's sealed back up tight. The new sump plug with the new O-ring is on and in, all the oil's drained out. So all that's left now, two things. One, we put the oil back in and then we reset um, up there on the dash. So this comes off and this, you get a funnel. Very important you clean your funnel. This one's got a, a filter in it. But also make sure the funnel's clean here because you do not want to be introducing any dirt uh, into the engine where your oil goes. That's super duper important. So, and then we tip in the oil. Now, this engine that I talked about, the uh, two liter turbocharged four cylinder N20, I believe it is, takes five liters of oil. So this here is a five liter bottle. So we don't actually have to measure anything. We can tip the whole lot on. If you're in Australia, I really do like the Nulon oil. It's Australian made and a really good quality product. Um, but I'll put links to other oils that I use and recommend. There's a, 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 um, a stop start one that is really good as well. Uh, if you're in the States, there's one I recommend. I've got a link for that. I'll put it through on Amazon and it's a, a very good oil as well. Now, if your bottle's been sitting around or dirty in the shop, you do need to clean it because all this dust, you absolutely don't want to end up inside your engine or get it on your hands and then get it inside the engine. So get your bottle clean so that when you tip it in, nothing but clean oil ends up inside your engine. Okay, so next step also, go to where your books are in your car, wherever you've got them, because there'll be a service log. It's very important that you record your oil changes. It'll make a big difference to the next person buying your car. So you find where you're up to and uh, you mark it down. And here, this is um, brakes front and back. <laughs> check your tire pressures. Here is the oil. This is one you need to check. So you put here your odometer reading here and the date that you did it, so you've got a record um, of your service history. And now I'll take you inside and I'll show you how to reset it on okay, the dash. Reset on the BMW F30 really is nice and simple. Um, we just press the button so that the ignition comes to the on. You make sure your foot's not on the brake. You don't want the car to start, but you just turn the ignition on. And then we press and hold this button over here until a service menu comes up. As a matter of fact, we needed to wait for that bonnet open warning to go away and then press and hold this. Here we go. Now it's showing the service light there. We press it again. It comes along to the rear brakes. And here you go. Reset possible. This is on the oil. So we press and hold that again. 
Till it says perform reset, let it out, then press it again. Reset in progress, keep holding it. There we go, 29,000 kilometers and reset successful. So the reset has been done on the so oil. The oil that I've linked to uh, in America, you can get it on Amazon at a really good price. And also look in Australia, I, I recommend this as well, the Castrol Magnatech. Um, just a, a really good product. Again, it's the same. It's 5W30 uh, full synthetic. Don't go semi-synthetic because to put semi to put semi synthetic, they've only got to put five to ten percent synthetic in it. So you may as well just pay the money for mineral grade. But for your BMW with the Vanos and all the really fine stuff that it needs oil for, as I said, have a look at that um, link in the video about what oil for your BMW. That one is a ripper as well. Castrol Magnatech, full synthetic. 5w30 and as i explained in that other video if you're in a really cold area then go for the zero uh, w as well on the sun plug this is the sun plug off this car um, the car's only done 92,000 k's but this is what i had to do to it to get it off it was done up so tight it was unbelievable it was absolutely mooched on there and it took a, a breaker bar uh, like a, a big soccer set of breaker bar was actually sticking out the side of the car and pulling it to get it off and had to hammer. This is a 17 mil bolt, but I had to hammer a 16 mil bolt on. So there is something to be said for uh, plastic uh, bolts when uh, these aluminium ones can be absolutely over tightened and, and mulched up like this. So yeah, I'm actually okay with the change for plastic. It means you can't be over tightened. Uh, well, at least you're going to know that you're over tightening it and you get a brand new sump um, plug and o-ring every time.